Hey, Remy here. How low can we go on TF2? By low, I mean graphics. It's simple, right? Just slide every setting to low and you get the lowest possible settings. What if I told you you could go even lower? It's magic. Just kidding, not magic. Before I continue with today's video, I want to talk about our sponsor, Opera GX. Opera GX is a browser for gamers. It has lots of customization. You can make it look however you like. Opera GX has this sidebar, which is very useful. You can limit CPU, RAM and internet usage in the GX control. Twitch integration so you can get notifications from your favorite streamers. I have also WhatsApp, Twitter and Discord on my sidebar. Probably the best feature about Opera GX is the player. You can play your own online music playlist from here. Let's say you decide to watch a video. The music automatically stops. When you finish watching your video, it auto plays, which is amazing. Projix is also available on phones. You can use the MyFlow feature to send stuff between your devices. In GX Corner, you can see all the new free to play games, upcoming games, game deals. Honestly, been using Projix for a few months now and I can easily recommend to anyone. You can switch to OperaGX very easily. Download link for OperaGX is down in the description. Now, where were we? Ah yes, how to make TF to run on a potato. First step to go after setting is using master config. Probably all of you know what co master config is. It lets you customize every setting in TF2. Basically optimizes the game for both high and low end computers. Now I gotta decide and select master config none, then I can select lowest setting possible. After applying master config, we have a pretty potato looking game, but we need to go even lower, it must be possible. Next step is making the game run in DX81. I'll use some mods that make the game look like it came from too many years ago. Now this is what I'm talking about. Our game looks very toasty. But but I want more. It's time to make TF2 into Minecraft 2. I mean, let's reduce the resolution. 640x480. It's not that bad. It's just way more pixely. But it's not enough. I want more. I'm going to reduce the resolution to 640x360. Which will be exactly half of 720p. To do this, I make the game run in Windows mode. Now we have this tiny window TF2, which would be impossible to play unless you are 5 cm away from your monitor, which is not healthy, please don't. But if there was a way to make this window stretch to our whole screen, hmm. With Magpie, we can upscale any window using FSR. You can also select how much sharpness you want. I decided to go with low sharpness since it looks more cartoonish. And this is how our game looks. A disclaimer, I don't know if Magpie is allowed on anti-cheat protected games. Some developers said that if it doesn't give the player any advantage and doesn't modify the game files, it's okay. Just like, you know, the Steam overlay or Discord overlay. Uh, Magpie seems to just grab the window screen and apply upscaling filter to your whole screen, which should be fine. But I'm not responsible if you get banned from any games by using this. So please do your own research. So here's our game. Master config, lower settings, DX81, flat textures, all simple to have to textures, no hats, reduce explosions, 640 by 360, upscaled with Magpie. You can go even lower, but at that point you should just go play snake on your nokia phone now it's time to play some tf2 Oh, my God. 
Honestly, after playing some time like this, I can easily say that it was enjoyable. Unlike other FPS games, you don't need that much resolution in TF2. Also thanks to TF2's cartoonish style, ultra low settings were not too bad. It's still bad when comparing it with how TF2 can look on high settings, but if you have super slow PC and looking, and looking a way to play TF2, it's doable. I was especially surprised by the Magpie. FSR is much better than nearest or pioneer filtering. I hope more games will support this feature natively. Upscaling very low resolution isn't that good, but let's say you have a 4K monitor. You can play your game in 1440p and let this FSR upscale and sharpen the stuff. Anyways, hope you enjoyed my video, like, subscribe and see you in another video. Goodbye.